how these people were getting through, getting through their lives when their entire livelihood has been swept away. Today, I want to bring something to you that you really need. Yeah. And what is that? What, what do you really need? What do I really need? Well, we all need a little bit of encouragement. And so, you know, I was thinking, how can I encourage other people? How can I make their day a little bit brighter? With everything that's going on in this messed up world right now, we all need a a little bit of encouragement and when we hope in the Lord and when we trust in him and we have confidence in him then we're standing on a solid foundation because he is the rock of the ages all the ages all of eternity he was there before the foundations of the earth and that's why he is the rock of ages he is the creator of all things and we should lean on him. We should have confidence in him. We should have hope in him. And, you know, we've got to commit ourselves to, to him. Because, you know, if we're living in this present world conditions, then if we're living under our own strength and without God, and we've got very little to hope about because we've only got ourselves to depend upon. Only got ourselves to depend upon. Just got a nice cup of tea there. In England, we have a saying and it says, a cup of tea or a mug of tea makes everything okay. And so, you know, a cup of tea may or may not do it for you but i just want to encourage you that god almighty the one and only true living god is our encouragement he is our strength he is our solid rock he is the firm foundation in which we must establish our lives we must trust in him and that trust means you know when you trust somebody if you're talking from an earthly perspective then trust means that uh you love that person and to love them means to trust them to have confidence in them to lean upon them because you know after all god is our only source of hope our only source of confidence our only source of everything he is the solid rock of ages the weather is very bleak outdoors In many countries they're having hurricanes and their livelihoods have been swept away swept away all of their hard work and all of their money and creativity has been washed away in torrential flooding like in america like in southeast asia and many other places all of their work all of their hard work, all of their livelihood has just been washed away in a few in a few days of very strong winds, very strong winds and flooding everywhere, major landslides. You know, I've watched videos, news and videos of people's lives that have just been washed away, destroyed by landslides and by flooding. Their entire livelihood is gone and it's devastating to watch. Absolutely devastating. And some of them were believers too. Some of them were believers. My heart and the, and the heart of my wife, Helen, when we watch the news on these disasters then it really it really helps us to it helps us to turn to God and trust to God more and more how these people 
are getting through, getting through their lives when their entire livelihood has been swept away. But, you know, when they've built it from the ground up, farms been built up, they've lost animals, houses have been destroyed, everything just sweeping away in those torrential flooding or blown away with the hurricanes or been buried people have lost their lives and it's just tragic so i want to encourage you today and if your life is being reset right now by a storm then you need to anchor your life on the firm foundation of jesus christ our lord and savior and today's scripture I want to encourage you with is from Isaiah chapter 26 verse 4 and I'll be reading from the Amplified Classic Edition Bible today and it says so trust in the Lord commit yourself to him and lean on him hope confidently in him forever the Lord God is an everlasting rock the rock of ages it's really important to get your strength from from god amen from a loving merciful god your lives might be being reset right at this moment and how do you start over how do you start over when all these disasters come about you get your strength from god you talk to God in prayer you get your strength from his word by reading the Bible daily you talk with God you tell him your problems and God will help to walk you through your problems your situations your disasters the storms that have been hitting your life he will help you he will help you through what nature's done to you how nature has reset your life he will help you to reset your life in a better way through wisdom and he will show you ways how you can get your life back in order he will show you ways how you can start over again but you have to trust in him that's what the scripture says first commit to him commit yourself fully to him and who is him that's jesus lean on jesus and hope in jesus because jesus is the solid rock the rock of ages well i want you to know everyone who's been hit and had their livelihoods taken away or destroyed and they're trying to fix up their lives i want you to know that you me are not alone you're being prayed for daily and for the believers who've been hit god will make a way when there seems to be no way and if you're not a believer yet then i suggest that you don't waste any more time but you you start to sincerely open your heart to god repent of your sin and ask god to come into your life and make jesus the lord and savior of your life will you still have problems of course you will but jesus christ will strengthen you jesus christ will help you through the mirage of problems well my name is pastor gareth lavelle and i just want to encourage you and let you know that you're not alone and this is not the end and there's an old saying you know when you're at the bottom of the barrel there's only one way to go and that is up amen so i want to encourage you only jesus can solve the problems only jesus can help you walk through those problems only jesus can build you up only jesus can encourage you lean on jesus make him the lord and savior of your lives I'll see you again very soon. God bless you. And remember, you're not alone. You're being prayed for daily by people all over the world. Be encouraged by that. God bless you. And bye for now. Bye-bye. subscribed please do subscribe to this channel it will help us immensely to get the word of god out to the nations